So what has the journey been like for you since you have become a Thai cat? It's definitely been a maturation process. Uh, when I first arrived here, I really wasn't in the best frame of mind mentally. I just got released from an NFL team and felt like I should have made the squad. And so I kind of had a chip on my shoulder coming up here. And anybody that approached me kind of got the short end of the stick. And uh, I really have to thank Coach McPhee, uh, D-line coach, really sat me down and told me that there's opportunity here if I would just believe, trust, and have faith in him and, you know, the people that are ahead of me and trust that everything happens for a reason. And so. I did that and it's brought me to where I'm today. So is it safe to say that you've kind of let go of those, of that chip on your shoulder Definitely. that you have now? I had to because to be honest, it was an anchor. It was holding me back. And you know, the resentment that I had for whatever reason wasn't doing anybody any good and it wasn't doing me any good and it wasn't letting the people who just figured out who I was really know me for me. And so before you moved, you made the transition to Hamilton. Uh, let's backtrack to your college days. Mm -hmm. You attended the College of William and Mary. Yes, I did. What was it like going to a school that was predominantly known for its academics as opposed, mm -hmm. to, its, as, as opposed to its athletics? Um, definitely was a challenge. Uh, like you said, it's known for academics, and anybody who's a student athlete knows that balancing sports as well as your academics is a difficult challenge. And I kind of treated school as if it were a sport. You know, uh, homeworks were like scrimmages, quizzes, you know, like preseason games, and then tests were like actual games. So I kind of had my own little way of making it fun for me, and uh, it helped me to graduate a little bit early and then pursue uh, the opportunity of the NFL. So, um, you know, growing up, my mom always instilled in me that <clears throat> never to give up unless you have nothing left to give. You know, we talk every day, and I call her my coach off the field. She always has... She always has words of inspiration or, you know, her advice about what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. And, you know, this mom Dukes and you can't really dismiss her, uh, uh, even though some of the things she say may not be accurate. <laughs> uh, I love you, mom. And uh, but yeah, that's that's. Ah, OK, we done. <laughs> Talk about that journey towards the Grey Cup, because like you said, individual awards, weekly awards, they're nice, but mm -hmm. they're not the final goal. I think what we do realize is that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And, you know, we hit a couple bumps in the road early on in the season with those two losses, but we realize that you're not going to make the playoffs in the first four or five games of the season. Mm -hmm. um, up here, it's a long season and a lot of things can happen. We just have to stick together, uh, believe in ourselves, um, trust and understand what we are doing as individuals um, so that we can contribute to the whole of bringing, like I said, a championship back here. You, as a, as a man, you've had a lot of trials and tribulations and a, lo a lot of triumphs as well. Mm -hmm. um, through all the ups and downs and the highs and lows, how has your faith uh, stayed intact through all of that? Again, I have to uh, commend my mother. She, she brought me up in a way that I'm very proud of. And, you know, I'm not necessarily religious, but I'm very spiritual and I do have a relationship with God. And it's one thing that when and it may sound cliche, when nobody else was there, I felt like that was one person that I could rely on. Mm -hmm. And there's been so many instances in my life um, where I could have gone the wrong way. Uh, certain things could have ended up opposite of what they did. And I wouldn't be sitting here before you guys. But like you said, because of my faith and what I believe and what my mom had instilled in me, it allowed me to get to this point. And if I would sit here and say I did it all on my own, again, I'd be lying because Lord knows where I would be right now.